now that you're happy with the workers in the bottling company, I would like to make you the managing director. And for the poultry farm, you can call for employment. You may hire a driver if you so wish. Wow, Dad. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. I should be thanking you. You see, I promised myself that I was going to make you the richest young man in town before you turn time years. And I'm happy you are living up to it. <laughs> that I'm grateful. I mean, you're doing it already. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm proud of you. And I'm also indebted in the work you Sometimes, I just wonder if I'm still part of this family. Now, what is the meaning of that? Don't worry, Dad. I'll be right back for me. Of that. Why does your father constantly remind me that my father left nothing tangible for me? And what do you mean by that? Why can't he make me a manager in one of his companies? Why? Oh, that? I see someone is trying to be productive. Very good. Okay, um, fine. I will talk to my father, alright? He is going to make you the manager of the poultry farm. How about that? Excuse you? Can you hear yourself speak? A university graduate like me, a manager in a poultry farm? Hey, come on, honey. You don't need to work yourself for nothing. All right? Okay, fine. I can talk to my father. He could make you a manager in any of the companies. How about that? You will have to talk to your father before he can give your wife a suitable job. Oh, come on. What is wrong with you, Lizzie? I mean, what do you need a job for? I pay you salary. I give you everything you need in this house. You don't need a job if you ask me. You know what? I am done talking about this. I thought you were a man. Come on, why are you working yourself up for nothing? You don't need a job. Okay, fine, I'll talk to my father. She's not even talking. My son, a woman is like a cuckoo man. No one knows where the head will take when it sleeps. That is deep. Yes, it is. You have to watch your wife. To watch her closely. Don't let her take your dignity away. Mm -hmm. Always take your stand. Love her unconditionally. Oh, Dad. Thank you so much for the piece of advice. I'm, I'm grateful. I'm inspired. <laughs> Let's drink to it. Oh, of course. Okay. So, to loving my wife unconditionally and. Yes, and working hard at the office. Exactly. <laughs> and for. Long life and prosperity to this family. We keep moving from strength to strength. That is it. 
Here we go, Dad. <laughs> Just see. Here we go, Dad. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to the latest manager in town, mm -hmm. a glass of wine. Nice. Okay. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Go and call that. He's already awake. And I said you should call me. He's coming down from the staircase. Oh. Is breakfast ready? Yes, Dad. Good morning. Good morning. What is this? Pap? Obviously, sir. You should have asked me what I wanted. I don't like Pap. So? You mean the stress of waking up early to assist Anne in the kitchen is useless? No, I didn't say that. I said I don't like Pap. Definitely, I don't want it for breakfast. You just know how to ruin someone's day. Anna, sir? you know I don't like pap. Why did you prepare it? She insisted I prepare it, sir. I told her you do not like pap. She said I should prepare it anyway. I'll go to the kitchen and fry me some plantain. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. You want Honey, I told you I cannot continue with this anymore. What happened? Is he not your father? That man can never be appreciated for once. He finds reason to complain in everything, just everything I do. I just asked, what happened? What is it with my father? He just rejected my breakfast. Simply because it's bad. Then honey, you should give him what he wants. It's not as if we don't have enough food in this house. And you expect me to go back to the kitchen? Hell no. I'm not going back to the kitchen. And that is why we have Anna. I mean, that's why we pay her. Allow her to do her job. Listen, sweetheart. We are all going to eat the same breakfast. If he doesn't want to eat with us, he should go hungry. Yes. Oh, come on, Lisa. This is my father we're talking about. I don't care if he's your god. He should learn to eat whatever I serve him for breakfast. This is my house. My husband's house. My house. My rules. What are you doing in my kitchen? I'm frying plantain. And that's why he wants to eat plantain. Who is all that? My friend, drop that in and get out. He said he's very hungry. Drop it and get out of this! Do you want me to push you? Get out! Fine. See you in the evening. All right. Okay. 
Alright, take care of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Alright. Where is the plantain? Auntie Elizabeth drove me out of the kitchen. Elizabeth drove you out of the kitchen? Why? Because I decide what we all eat in this house. Elizabeth, do I have to remind you that I built this house? And I employed Anna to be my cook. And it's my kitchen. I decide what goes on in there. Anna. Sir? Go back to the kitchen and finish up with the plantain. Thank you, sir. Yes. The kitchen is locked. Elizabeth, why did you lock the kitchen? It is my kitchen. Dad, how many times do I need to tell you that my wife is not your cook? She's not your maid. If you need anything to eat, tell Anna that's why she's there. That's why she's paid. So, do you know that sometimes when I look at you, I see myself as a man who brought a honeycomb to stay with you? If you would excuse me, I had a terrible day. me as if I'm a little girl that needs guidance in everything. He even wants me to beg him for a job. Oh, Lizzie, please calm down, okay? Don't be upset. I spoke with Colin and he promised to see me this evening. When he comes, I will sure discuss all this with him and all these things will stop. Thank you. So now, what do I offer you to do? Anything chill would be nice. Anything chill. That means you need scotch or the rock. Whatever. Bye, man! I think I know why you invited me. And why haven't you done anything about it? Jerry, I'm still... It's a, it's a gradual process, all right? And I'm still doing something. Collins, listen. If you want a happy home, then keep your father away from it. How? Send him to the village. Or you buy a house for him out the house of the city. That's simple. Very funny. Collins. I'm sure you know my father is in the village. That is where he should be. Closer to his ancestors. And because you built your house with your money. I didn't build where I live with my money. It wouldn't be easy sending him out of his own house. 
Don't you think? Collins, can I ask you a simple question? Go on. Do you love your wife? Are you the one asking this question? Of course you know I love my wife. But your actions are proving otherwise. Collins, give her a happy home. I mean, make that home comfortable for her. Um, Jerry, the truth is, I've allowed my wife to treat my dad with so much scorn and hatred. But he still doesn't feel irritated to leave. If I let your wife do more, one day he will be irritated and he will be forced to go to the village. Tell her to do more, more. Jerry, you don't understand. My father is a very quiet man. He can't be easily upset, no matter how much you try. You see, Collins, I'll call your wife and I'll give her tips on how to deal with him. I swear down this time he will feel it to his bones. Mark my words. Do you think it's good? You see, with that, he'll be totally handicapped. You see why I always come to you? <laughs> you are too smart. <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome. I will still come back and thank you. Thank me. I'll be waiting. <laughs> How many times do you open the gate? Other man, the count. And you, Abana. When last did you clean this house? Yesterday, ma. Mm -mm, today, ma. <laughs> How I many times? Every day, ma. Every day. Mr. Driver. John. My name is John. Oh, shut up. Who cares what your stupid name is? You're just an ordinary driver. Common driver. I'm sorry, ma. Sorry for your stupid self. How many times do you drive my father in love? <coughs> he doesn't normally go out unless he's going to golf club. So you do literally nothing in this house. Ma. You are paid to do nothing in this house. Hey. Anyway, I am going to pay you this month so that you go elsewhere and get yourselves jobs. Ma? Ma, uh, uh, ma madam, ma, 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 I am hey. still talking. Okay. Hey, you. I didn't ask you to go. I'm going to give you one month, please. If you continue your madness of siding with my father in law. Thank you, Ma. Henceforth, your duties in this house includes cleaning. Yes, Ma. You can go. Thank you, Ma. Everything we do in this world, everything has its reward. Oh, my, 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 John! John! 
I told this boy that I'll be going to the cathedral this morning for Christmas. John is not around, sir. Where did he go to? Auntie Elizabeth sacked him yesterday. Elizabeth sacked him? Sir. How can Elizabeth sack my, my driver without my consent? Okay. Tell Eket to open the gate for me. Eket is also not around, sir. She sacked him too? Yes, sir. What is wrong with this lady? How can she be sacking my, my workers without my consent? What an insult. I won't give the devil a chance this morning. Just to open the gate. Where is your wife? She's upstairs. Go and tell her I want to see her. But she's asleep. I can't go to wake her. Is that a problem? Your wife sacked my driver, my gate man and my cleaner without even informing me. Maybe because she doesn't need the services anymore. Did you hear yourself? Maybe your wife doesn't need the services of my driver and my get man too. How can she sack people she didn't employ in the first place? Is that not height of insult? Daddy, she must have a reason for doing that. So you are aware of it from the beginning, eh? No, no please, I'm on time. I really need to go to bed. But I'll, I'll ask her tomorrow. I don't know why she did such a thing. Good night. Oh, damn. Good night. Anna. Sir. I wanted to have a word with you, sir. I just wanted to remind you of my undying loyalty to you, sir. I honestly hate to see you sad. Mm. And if there's anything I can do to, to help, I will not hesitate to help, sir. Thank you very much, Anna. Thank you very much. That's well. Can you go and get me a cup of water? Of course, sir. Good. I really mean it, sir. I could never forget how you took me off the streets. Assisted me. And changed my life. I owe you everything, sir. And Anna is at your beck and call. Thank you very much, Anna. That is reassuring. Thank you once again. I'll get the water, sir. Please do. Thank you.
mom and dad? Oh, good morning, son. As well, I am ready for work. Oh, yes, I'm ready. Oh. Uh -huh. um, did you ask your wife what I told you last night to ask her? Don't tell me you woke up still having that grudge in your heart. Is that an answer to my question? But that honestly, I am beginning to have it up here. My wife is not your maid. She's not your cook. Excuse me. I was complaining. Yes, get me a glass of juice. Yes, Come. Make sure you wash your hands with soap and water before bringing the juice. Uh, Elizabeth, come and help me with this. Old man, my name is Lizzie, not Elizabeth. By the way, help you with what? I'm not a doctor, and I don't look like one. Or you just want to report me to your son again? You don't have to be a doctor to use this. I don't want to use it. Ah. Uh. Anna, Sir? come and help me with this. Anna, get me fresh tomatoes and onions. Rush to the market. But, madam, how come you seem to help him on you? The money is on my bed. Rush to the market immediately. Anna, Sir? go and help her buy tomatoes. Mm. Thank you, sir. Get going! Fresh tomatoes! Fresh! Don't buy rubbish for me. Everything we do in this world Everything has its reward Oh my my masana Oh my joy Mama, I Mama, you're welcome. I've been waiting for you. Where have you been? Eliza, mom. Mama, can you give me Eliza? Eliza, I beg you, can't leave me. Lizzy, Mama, Lizzy, let me change you. Lizzy, you're bien. What do you mean? You don't look happy. What happened? How can I be happy? Mama, you need to follow me to my house. You need to follow me to that house to show them that you're an action woman. Not to pay you for Bella's. Let's see. Let, let them know that I have somebody. You still haven't told me what happened. Mama, I just want to be in charge of that house. I want to be in charge of the companies, the kitchen, Everything, Mama. I want to be in charge of everything. Mm. Don't worry. I will come and display a little drama for them. Trust me. I will tell them that you are the daughter of a lioness. Bien. Oh, Mama. Hey. Yeah, man, you look for the electric. Come and show them. Oh, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. No more! Action woman! <laughs> I know what you can do. <laughs> Don't worry yourself. Oh? Yeah. Let me go and get you something to eat. Hey, hey, mama, mama, mama. Don't bother yourself. Eh? I need to rush back to town. Hmm? Yeah. Hey, my husband will come and pick you. 
Hmm? Well, so before then, can't tell you, cha. Okay, now they offer me. You want to, you know? You want to know what I'm not talking about? The lady is making the house unbearable for me. Not just me. Every other person, in fact. She insults Chief to his face. Anytime she likes. And what does a son do about it? Hmm. That one. He has never put her in place. He does not call her to order. He just sits. Without saying a word. Hey! You see? In that case, you have to apply wisdom. Don't get involved in anything that concerns them. They are one family. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, who am I seeing? Sister. <laughs> she went to church. Hey. Sister, welcome. How are you? I'm fine, sister. How are you? Nice work. Work is fine. <laughs> oh, I hear you made straight A's in your work. Oh, sister, I made seven A's and two B's. Perfect. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Good. Sister, I chose that I want to buy my jam phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I knew you would not miss that. Mm -hmm. But do not worry. I'm so proud of you. Once I get my salary at the end of the month, I'll give you money. <laughs> Mama, did you hear her? <laughs> Go and get me water to drink before I <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. Welcome. No problem. Was coming to the right place. This is paradise. One, two. Hey! Oh, my God. 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 You are the best thing that happened to my generation. God bless the day I found the day my daughter found you for us. Hey! Mama, come, let's go. Come, 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 come let's go. Let's go. You're so used to it. <laughs> hey! You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, easy, easy, easy. Oh, my glass. <laughs> my, oh, my reflection, no one. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. Father, I thank you. Let's go. You're welcome. This is your house. Feel free, all right? Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Something like that. <laughs> no. Mama, please come. Mama, come here. Honey. Ah, baby, you're welcome. Mama. Mama, you're welcome. No. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Mama, you've not seen anything yet. Wait till we go upstairs. Mm? This is heaven. Okay, ladies. I have to go. Honey, take mom to her room. Huh? All right. Uh, okay. My good in law. <laughs> All right, my love. I'm coming. No, no, no. A good dim now, but I now. You look good as well. You've changed so much. Go see Kenneth. Eh? Eh? Mm? Eh? Mm? Oh, go see Kenneth. Eh? <laughs> Ma, hmm. I would have even looked prettier and fatter. Ma, go no ene liye go liye go ike. If not for one blood sucking demon in this house. See? The person is bent on what's now mama name with the week. Giving me a headache day and night. And who could that be? A maid or your husband's relative? Mara Boko. You just came. You have to freshen up. Eat well prepared. Delicious food. Now you're mates. Yeah. Eh? After that we can talk. <laughs> that one is by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take it here. Let's go. See around the neck. 24 karat gold. Eh? Ah, I, I didn't know you were here. They didn't tell me you were coming. Must you be told I was coming? Eh? Do I need to take permission from you before I visit my son-in-law? No, no, my in-law, it's not like that. I mean, this is also your house. But what I mean is that if I knew you were coming, if they told me, I would have arranged the Catfish for you. I can't really? remember telling you anything about catfish. Did I tell you I've never eaten catfish before? My lord, are, are we fighting? Did I throw a punch at you? I can go. I was coming to sit down, but I can see it's not conducive for you. You are the bomb. Hey! Look at the way you are giving it to him. Giving it to him. Mm. You know what, Mama? You should be visiting every week. <laughs> Trust me. I will make this house uncomfortable for him. Yemi, yemi, yemi. And Abogan Express. Bam! My action lady. Oh. My only mama. Let's continue. Hey, uh, I'm going to get it though. Mama, there is money in this Abiko. If these women in the village, I need to show them. Okay, oh, that we have arrived. <laughs> you see the money, you're going to eat it for them. I made you a quack for you, eat it for them. No, no. <laughs> I need to talk to you. Is that some kind of greeting or what? Do you eat greeting? Why do you always behave as if you're uncivilized? The cricket is a very good singer. But he sings in the bottom of the nature. Do you think I'm here to listen to your flimsy adage? Listen, I want a better and permanent room for my mother in this house. That's good. What happened to the guest room? She doesn't like it. I want to give her the room beside your own. Really? Mm -hmm. Really. But you know that is impossible. That room belonged to my late wife. So? So the room should be left empty because it belonged to your late wife? 
<laughs> so I should be begging for a room in my own daughter's house. Ask him. Is that not sheer wickedness? Woman, did I remind you that this house belonged to me? Which house is yours? You're a wicked and greedy man. What did you say? You heard me. Shame on you. Your mates are in their villages and you're here discomforting this young couple. Can you imagine? If you want to do this here, your papa is around. If you want to go this side, he's around. Eh? You won't allow us young couple to experiment, do some things in this house. Go to the village, your mates have retired. I don't have anything to say to you. I have nothing to say to you. Okay, man. See, I'm even suspecting you are hiding some of your cutting materials in that room. I know you. It's okay. No, don't make it. What nonsense? Since uh, it has come to that. I see you are looking for a worthy husband for your mother. <laughs> do you think you can marry my mother? Back to send that. You cannot marry my mother. Can you imagine? Old man. Actually, if I will be dodging him, we will not express our love in this house. Go and die or go to the village. Come on, do you can become. Mama. He hasn't seen anything. Mama, if we continue like this, eh, you know this time. time. He pack his belongings and run away from this house. I'm attacking one of his Look at his face. Don't worry. That is why I was in the ground. Bam. Collins. Your wife brought her mother here this morning to insult me. She tell you. I saw you. She called me a wicked man, an occultic man. Are you not an occultic man? Eh? Or what on earth would make you lock your wife's room for years? Did you hear that? Uh, that she just asked the question. Collins, what has gotten your brain off its capacity to think? Where is your sense of manhood? Are you insulting me before my in-laws? Do you know that? No, you are the one insulting yourself in front of your in-laws by failing to be a man. My son, please forgive him. Oh, If I may ask, Father, that room has been locked for many years and I haven't even gone in there and it makes me wonder is there anything going on there that I don't know of? Ask him! Ask him! You see, if by tomorrow you don't hand me the key to that room I will personally break it and replace it with a new one and that's fine. Oh, wow. I love you, baby! And your mother's ghost will Haunt you for the rest of your life. <laughs> there is nothing like ghosts. <laughs> Mama, let's go. And there is nothing like ghosts. Wicked <laughs> man. Go and retire. But Dad, I told you I was going to do it, didn't I? And you moved my wife's things to the director room. Dad, if there is anyone who is meant to fight for those things, it should be me. Because she was my mother. Now I know I have to ride in a different direction. Everything we do in this world, everything has a 
its reward what is in that bag? Snacks for chief. So all you do is make it look as if I'm wicked. You go about telling people that I don't cook in this house, right? Ma, where is this coming from? Were you not the one who instructed that I must not enter your kitchen? Mama, she's talking back at me. Anna, so you can now talk back at me. I'm sorry, Ma. You're not taking this rubbish into my house. Yeah, Ma. What is happening here? Sir, Madam insists I must not take the snacks inside for you. <gasps> mm. Bring down the heaven if you can. Mama, let's go inside. Mm -hmm. Leave my way, old man. I called you here so that you would talk to your daughter. You want me to talk to my daughter? Yes. Have you talked to yourself? Or do you need me to remind you that you are the one that needs to be talked to? I've watched you since you arrived in this house. I noticed that you came fully prepared for that. Thank party. God you know that. Thank God you know that. Listen, I came here to rest. I don't have your time. I'm going. If you like, kill my daughter with your wickedness. Oh! <laughs> but I promise you, you will not like what you get. Mama, don't mind him. Hmm? Let me see you to the door. Hmm. That's just a thing, eh? <laughs> 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 I don't understand. I said I want the books in the boys' quarters cleared. Why? I want to make use of it. I want to use that room as my storeroom. But why the boys' quarters when we have two room stores in this main building? Why the boys' quarters where I store my books? And you expect me to answer that question? By the way, why do I always have to explain myself anytime I want to do anything in this house? My husband's house! Do you know you are rude? You are mannerless and it's not good for you. I just... What is going on? Your father has refused to clear the books from the boys quarters so I could store those things I told you that I want to buy. Honey, please. Can we leave this for another day? Just, just let him be, please. Goddess, tell your wife. In fact, make her understand that I am not her mate. Neither am I her co-wife. And sincerely, I don't, I don't, I don't like this. All these coffers and stuff. I don't, I don't like it. Why can't we live in peace in this house? Eh? Every time quarreling. If this continues, I don't mind to build a house for you elsewhere. No, I will be the one to build a house for you. What do you have? This 
quarreling with my wife. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood, Biko. I want me to sleep. You're angry with me, right? Hey, boy, you here. Now you do know that I'm angry with you. Mm. Until you caution your father to stop nagging at me, to give me my respect in this house as your wife. Hey. Caution him. Come on, my love. No one is disrespecting you in this house. But you should respect my father as well. But okay, is that why you want to deny me my conjugal right? What conjugal right? Eh? This isn't there. Until your father starts giving me the respect that I deserve in this house. You're not getting in between my best. Case closed. My love, you are doing visually everything you want in this house, even when they are against my father's wish. What else do you want? Make him to respect me. I deserve to be respected. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. I, I will tell him to respect you. Alright? Is that okay now? I respect I'm saying that I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. Let them start respecting me first, then you can come back. I will tell them, they will respect you. Let them start it, then you can come. For now, I'm not in the mood. I want you to sleep. My love, I promise, respect will rush you. I will let them know. Respect will rush you, my love, okay? I'll rush you to. I'll rush you to with several blows now. Give me a blow. Please let me sleep. I'm not in the mood. I have been using it before you came here. What? What? I am not your maid. You want to fight me? You want to fight me in my husband's house? Have you gone nuts? You are fired. You cannot fire me because you did not employ me. What temerity? What nerves? You are even talking back at me. You know what? Go in there, pack your things and leave this house. I cannot do that. The only person that can make me do that is Oga. Anna, do you not know talk back at my wife? I'm sorry, sir. Get out of my sight! Can you imagine? Is that all you could do? Get out of my sight! That is all you could say! Or... Go in there, discipline her, show her that you are the man of this house! Go! Right? Yes, right! Okay, I will go in there now and I will sack her! Yes, fire her, that is what Anna! I... Go! Anna! Can you imagine? Ordinary maid. How is it possible? Come! Oh. Anna. What is the problem? Mr. Collins fired me, sir. Mr. Collins fired you? Yes. 
the qualified wife. His wife had asked me to remove your clothes from the washing machine, and I refused. Take your bag back to the house. Sir? Take your bag inside. Let me see who's going to stop. Take your bag inside with your dad. I have sacked her for insulting my wife. Anna. Sir? Go and keep your bag in the house. Let me see who's going to stop it. Dad, did you hear what I said? She insulted my wife and almost fought her. Listen. Listen to me, young man. Let me tell you, being a man is in the head. I'm not being easily misled by an excited dog. Did you hear that? Honey, honey, we are late. No one is keeping her. I have places to go to. So, I need you to take me to the hospital. I think my BP is high. Dad, can I wait till tomorrow? No. Uh, it would not be possible because I'm taking my wife to the salon. We won't waste time at the hospital. Oh, Dad. You sound as if you're not living in this house with us. I always take my wife to the salon every Saturday. That's our normal ritual. I won't change today. Tell I'm aware that she has her own car. And she can drive. Oh, Dad. Yes. Oh, honey. Sweet up, I'm ready. <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> How do I look? How are you? Mm -hmm. As to prepare something for Chief to eat. Answer my question first. Did you enter my kitchen? Are you stupid? Have you gone nuts? How many times have I told you not to enter my kitchen without my consent? Come. Elizabeth, how long will you do this before you know that you're overstepping your boundaries? You don't have the right to hit my worker. And you I don't will... have the right to hit her. I will hit her again if I still desire. Now take this food back to my kitchen. That's minutes. Anna, Anna, come here. Anna. Please, sir. Just allow me to touch her a little. I can handle her. I said no. Don't give her the pleasure. Anna. Just take it to touch her. Anna. Anna, hold yourself. My kitchen, don't allow me to push you. I will push you. No. Do you know that I built this house and I own everything that is in it? Will you stay here? 
You don't want to leave. You don't want to leave my kitchen, right? Okay. You are going to sleep here. Foolish old man. You are going to sleep in this kitchen today. You will sleep there today. Idiot. Mm -hmm. Ma, did you just lock a guy in the kitchen? Do you want to lose your job? No, ma, but he's hypertensive. I can get out of my sight. Sir! Sir! Auntie! Ma! It's not happening. How was work today? Well, um, we thank God for today. We've mm. done what we can. <laughs> so my love, if you know what is good for me right now, give me food, I'm hungry. You know what, baby boy? I am taking you out. Out? Yes. Uh, baby, I don't want to eat outside. I don't want snacks. I want good food prepared by my lovely wife. Baby, I'm taking you to the best restaurant in town. Okay, so let's go stay so fresh up. Is it anyone's birthday? Meaning I can't take my handsome, hardworking husband out. Mm. Let's go upstairs so you freshen up. Mm? Okay. Change to something casual. All right. <laughs> I'll to give you a treat. Because you know that you are the best wife in the whole wide world. Yeah? I know. And I will do everything to make you happy. Yes. I'm about, I will keep loving you, loving you, loving you. Oh. I, I love you more, baby. What is it? What is your problem? It's okay, baby. Let's go upstairs. I can rock your world. Rock my body. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Sir, she locked your father in the kitchen all afternoon. He's still there. Is he complaining? It's okay, baby. I'm asking you, is he complaining? Oh, my love, my love, it's okay. Uh, baby, let's go upstairs. No, I need you to answer my question. Oh, my, God. my father complaining. Oh, Lord, Lord, baby. This way. Yes. Yes, sir. Upstairs. Everything we do in this world Everything has its reward Everything you do comes back to you. Makwara ona biani bazu ewa. Makwara na bia, makwara na bia, makwara na biani bazu. Everything you do, everything you do comes back to you. Comes back to you. Hey, I can get up and get out of my kitchen door.
Mm -hmm. Yes. Can't you greet? Now we know who owns this kitchen. I hope you enjoyed your night. Yes, very well. And may you be served with the self that comes. Mm -hmm. Sir, are you alright? How can I be alright? I have slight fever. Let me help you, sir. Do you want me to get you anything? What I need now is a hot water bath. Very well then. Let me get it ready, sir. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> Old man, this is just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> See, Mom, Dad. Dad. You're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. How are you? Dad, how are you doing? Collins, did you not hear that your wife locked me up in the kitchen? Let me oh, do it. Dad, not again. It's too early to spoil my day already with your constant complaints. Uh, baby, let me see it at the door, okay? Excuse me. I don't know how to do that. It's okay. 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 It's Why she locked me up in the kitchen? Dad, Dad, you can help me. And I want you to answer me sincerely. Why do you hate my wife so much? Why is it that every time my wife is my wife that? You hate her too much and it's too bad. Your father's hatred will not cut close to my vein. Mm -hmm. I will keep fighting. I will fight, fight, and fight until he gets tired. And finally have his rest in the grave. I cost you. I cost you, you this ill mannered girl. You shall cry and nobody shall be there to console you. Mm -hmm. You will walk under the rain in a lonely road that has no end. Buddy, can you hear him? Can you hear your father? He just laid a curse on me. Yes. And you do something. You know what? Back to sender. I send it back to you. One million pounds. You are the one that will cry blood under the rain. Now I know what you wish for my wife. But not to worry. I know what to do. And let's go. Thank you very much for me. Empeached man. Back to sender. Empeached man. Back to sender. You see, you see, you see, you see that rain? You're the one that will whip under the rain. Look at you. You will cry on blood under the rain. Your wife will 
turn to ah, pray. It will turn to blood under the way. Evil man. Evil man. Call yourself a wife. You are cursed. I have played a curse on you. I repent. Everything you do comes back to you. I will be away for a while. Yes, sir. Please avoid any trouble with Elizabeth. If she wants you to stay away from the kitchen, please do so. Yes, sir. Safe trip, sir. Thank you very much. Safe trip, sir. Everything you do comes back to Comes back to Everything you do. Everything you do comes back to Comes back to you. Nothing. I will get angry with you if you don't. What did he tell you about He did not tell me anything about you. Are you deaf? Is something wrong with you? For the last time, what did Chief tell you about me? He did not say anything. He only told me that he was going to be away for a while. Are you ready to tell me what Chief asked you to do to me? He did not ask me to do anything to you, ma. I swear on my life. Oh, shut up! Liars always swear with their lives. But I'm telling the truth now, ma. Where do your parents live? Ijaruma. Ijagin? Huh. That hell of a place. You're from a Richard family then? Yes, ma'am. And I would like to see your parents. Huh? Are you deaf? Yes, ma'am. I'll take you to see them. Let me go and change. Change to what? Did you come here with anything? My friend, go and wait for me outside. Are you still standing? Go! Go, 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 go and wait for me. He wants to change as if you came here with anything. Is it not my husband's money you've been spending? Get out! Hello, Bugsy. 
I don't like this gun that you give to me. I don't like it. I've told you that I've started getting rid of everyone that makes me unhappy in my home. So I need a good gun, a better one. Alright, I'll be waiting. Mom, are you getting rid of me? Are you scared? <laughs> you don't need to be scared, Daddy. I will only shoot you. It will hurt. Mom, please, Mom, don't kill me. If I die, my mother too will die. Shut up. Please, Mom, let me just go. I promise I will not come back to this house again. Good. Because if I ever see you in that house again, I will blow your brains off. Yes, ma. In fact, let me come down here, ma. I will not go there again, ma. Shut up. If we get to your house, keep smiling. Stop smiling. Smile. Do you want me to? <laughs> Is this your mother? Yes, ma'am. madam. She's Mr. Collins' Oh, my daughter. Hey, here. Yeah. <laughs> That's your madam. Yeah. Come inside. Well, come and sit. Don't worry. Sit where? Inside where? <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Anna, remember our agreement. Keep smiling. How about your master? Is he alright? Have any problem with them? No, she didn't tell me. Just that her master's daughter in law brought her back. And since she came back, she has not told me anything apart from that crying she's crying there. Is her girl aware of it? Mm, she said the girl traveled. She has not said anything apart from crying. Mama, what we have to do now is to call the Oga on phone and tell him everything. Let us just call him and tell him what happened. Hey, how can we kill us then now? How will we manage before he's called on the phone? On oh, my jam. Oh. Hey. hey. Uncle, how could you condone such callousness of that Hey, Your son brought that Jezebel of a woman as a wife to torment you in your own house. We call you the lion, Argo. What happened to the lion in you? Eh? Obi, you see, what I need to follow these children now is wisdom. That's all I need. Oh. Uh, 
By the way, is that the reason why you invited me to the village? Is that not enough to invite you? Or even call our king's men? Is it not enough? Eh? Do you expect me to, to, to sit down, fold my arms, eh? and let them kill you first? Nobody's killing anybody. You know? Um, I'm, I'm in charge of the situation. Moreover, the Collins and uh, Elizabeth are children, young people. <coughs> don't tell me that. Mama, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. I don't want to hear that Collins and Eliza, that wicked, that wicked girl, eh, that they are young. If Collins is young, is his brain still too? Eh, why didn't he do something when that wicked Eliza locked you up, the owner of the house, in your own kitchen, overnight? You heard about that, don't you? Uh, 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 are you surprised? I hear everything. I hear everything. Now listen, I know what to do. I am going to call the meeting of all our homeowners. And tell them that Collins wants to kill you for us. No, 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 no. It hasn't come to that yet. Uh, it, has, it has gone beyond that, too. They have crossed the line as far as I'm concerned. Uh, do you have coconut in the house? Coconut. Now, you see, now you are trying to sweep everything under the carpet. You are changing the subject. Mm -hmm. you, coconut. Mm -hmm. Coconut. Odima, I will get you coconut. Uh, I'm on my way out. But let me go inside and see if I can get coconut for you. But I will still come and talk about this. Uh, and and uh, pan wine too, if you have pan wine. Coconut and pan wine. Bring pan wine. Coconut and pan wine. Uh, coconut and pan wine. I will get them for you. No, no, you don't have to be sad. Don't worry about it. I will search for another job. This girl suddenly became an obstacle to your blessings. Eh? She promised to settle you. Is this not Annabelle, my daughter? Ah, uh, Maka. -huh. When did you come back? <coughs> Papa, she just lost her job. Ah, she lost her job. Uh, and so, she lost her job. Okay. Open the door. That one is locked. Huh? This one here is open. Uh -huh. Hey! Look at this. Let me push the girl down. Papa will never change. Hey! Chineke. I do not wish to talk about Collins and his wife right now. Mm -hmm. You don't want to talk about Collins and his wife. Mm -hmm. Mama, is it true that? Uh, Eliza, that wicked girl, locked you up in the kitchen for a whole night. Tell me, is it true? Yeah, is, is it possible for us to talk about the land issue that brought me to the village? You want to talk about the land issue? Yes. You expect me to, to fold my arms, watch them kill you? Eh, Nam? Nah. The land issue. Hmm? Well, have you been able to get a suitable site for the project I told you about? I got one. Mm. Mm. It's a tepa. Okay. Mm. It is genuine. It belongs to the, the Mr. Gilbert, the teacher. Oh. oh, that's very good. Can we go and see it right away? What is Fugo? Collins! Oh, beef oh, oh, oh. Collins. Let us go and see the land first, please. Mama, that man hates me with passion. In fact, he wants me dead. Nothing I do to make him happy pleases him at all. If I cook for him, he will complain. If I allow the cook cook for him, he will still complain. Mama, mm. the man is heartless. Ah! It's again. Why didn't you tell me all this why? Eh? I should have come to that house and make his life unbearable for him. Mazim. Trust me. I know what to do. I know what you can do. I will come and turn that house upside down. What is the name, Gabe? I will teach him a lesson. Of course. He will know that my only daughter is not what he can use to exhibit his wickedness. Mm -hmm. Mbano. I know. You are my backbone. And I, I know what you can do. Mbano. I know what you can do. Calm down. Let's go inside. I trust you. I trust you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Where are you going in carrying your bag? I'm going with you to the city. I want to go to that your house and caution those children. Because let me put my bag inside. Look, Obi, I am not going to the city right now. I am going to Abuja first of all for a conference. Ah, Abuja, I knew it. I knew you would not allow me to follow you. I knew it. Mama. No, Obi, you see, what is going to happen? Next week, mm. I will send my driver to come to bring you to the city. Next week. You understand? Yes. Next week. I don't believe you. Or do you want me to send him right away after dropping me in Abuja? Oh, man. Next week. I will wait. Next week. Mana, I go. If I don't see your driver next week, be rest assured, you will find me in your house. I will okay. find my way to your house. Have I lied to you before? No, no, no. I have not lied to you before. Don't worry. So trust me. I trust I, I actually, I ought to have given you some money for your upkeep. You will have money. Eh? Don't worry. Don't worry. Eh? Okay. Next week. Eh, next week. Don't worry. Um, don't worry. My driver will come. Bye bye. We're not here. Who is here? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. What is it? What do you mean by what is it? Ah. Is that a new form of greeting? Ah. Did you see me here when we came to marry your daughter? Did you write your name on your forehead? Eh? Or have you come to torment me the same way your brother torments my daughter? Oh, oh, oh. Now I know where the scorpion got its poison pincer. Hmm. <laughs> ne, warn your daughter. Warn her. Tell her to behave. Otherwise, I will tell her that I am Obi Welo. Tell her that I. Obi Kwelu will not allow any man or woman, in fact, nobody born of a woman will dip his or her finger in our hot pot of soup without being lashed mercilessly. I say so. I, Obi Kwelu, say I so. I can see that wickedness runs in your family. Now listen, let me tell you. My daughter cannot be lashed mercilessly. Oh. Instead, she will lash you and the entire family mercilessly. Okay. Bam. You want war? That's not war. <laughs> you will get war. And before I start the war with you, I will let the whole community know that I, Obikoli, has brought war here. Get away! Get out of Hey, everybody, come! I have brought war. Get out! I will house. show you that you have seen war and you cannot survive get by war. Get out of my house. Oh, the man, we shall see. This is the first thing. I have said the word Look here. Out. You will see war. You will hear from me. What's wrong? We shall see. No what? Hey. Oh, Demma. There is no problem. I know what to do. Don't say. Everything we do in this world. Is he not that lanky man that calls himself Obi? Your father-in-law's brother. Uh -huh. What does he want here? He came to tell me to warn you. To stop treating his brother badly. He even threatens to lash you mercilessly. Okay. Last me, Abu Lizzy, mercilessly. Is he mad? On a poala? Ha! Mami Meze Kobroi. He should have called me to come and give him the embarrassment of his life. Oku Tori ko off on a warehouse. Calm down. Now I know that they don't mean well for you. But I will teach them a lesson. Mama, trust me. I can't wait to go back with you to that house. <laughs> Hmm? I can't wait to go back with you. Come down. Look at Obiu. Come 
came here to warn us. Ah. To warn me. Oh, come on, Amma. Take up my dibia. My dibia, man, I'm a boy. Come on. But in take a chop of orange. Forget them. Forget them. Hey. Um, my is how are you? I'm fine. I'm going to your house. Yeah. I hope there's no problem. Um, there's something I want to discuss about. Can't you see I'm going out? So that thing cannot wait till I come back. It is something very, very important. Eh? Yes. More important than where I'm going to. If it is very important, eh? Come back later in the day. I should come back in the day. Mama Elisa! Are you walking out on me? Mama Elisa! Big game to my house. Complain and be telling about it. Mama Elisa, I want you to call Elisa to order. It's again. I said, I want you to call Elisa to order. Why will I call my daughter to order? Huh? You were reason. Why? You were reason. Yes. Wagenti. Go and tell Obi to get more bitter. Obi to get more bitter. More I will not call my daughter to order. Tell him that he is the one that needs to call his brother to order. Mama Eliza, is this what you can say? Mazin Dunwe. Huh? That is all I have to say. All you have to say? I cannot say all I have to say. You know what to do. Hey! You know what to do. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me take my leave. Oh, yeah, they want to. Very important. Scordy. Hey. Uh -huh. Everything we do in this world, everything has its reward. Oh, my my son. Anna! Anna! I sacked her. You did what? In a formal English language book. I fired. It's a lot. Who is killing who? Chief, you're not telling me. Nobody is killing anybody. Now tell me, where is Anna? Chief, she, she's here. Chief, I don't want to lose my daughter. It's better we live in this poverty. It's okay, be cool. You are not poor. Where is Anna? Anna, come here. Anna, why don't you call me on the phone and tell me what's happened? I don't want any trouble, sir. Anna, I, I don't want to die. Anna, you are not going to die. Eh? Now get into the car. No, sir. I 
I, I, I already promised I will not come back, sir. I, I don't want to die, sir. No, I'm not. Just, just let me do. Chief. Stay out of this. How is this? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Am I getting to the car? Let me get my bags, sir. Okay, your bags. Is this the reason you call me back? Yeah? Is that not enough? Is that not enough reason to call you? That you and your wife, you maltreat my own brother in his house. And you say that is not enough reason to invite you. Call us, you. To be honest, uh, if I had known this is the reason you invited me here, mm. I won't grant this invitation. Let me remind you, I'm a man, alright? Stay off my business. Do not call my phone again to tell me this rubbish. Let this be the last time you do it. Collins. Excuse me. Collins. Collins. <laughs> Don't worry. Very soon, we shall know who is who. Look at, look at, look at man. Man. Hey, I don't blame you. Ma. Why you leave the cause of my daughter? Hmm. Why won't you allow her to enjoy her marriage? This woman, I can see that the suspect runs in your family. Madness also runs in your family. Now we'll get out of my room. Get out! Eh? You said our family. It's your family. family that madness runs in. Mm -hmm. If I don't get out, what would you do? You think your evil charms or whatever you believe in can get me? Ah! Error. Okay. That's all. Is it error? Nonsense. What is he doing? Is he calling his son? Let him call. Let him call who I want to We only a guy here. Yeah, did you? Please send me some of your armed men to my house. Yes, there's a mad woman here. I want you to arrest. Yes. Very good. Mama, Mama, let's go. It's not like we're afraid of the police, but let us go. Huh? Calm down. This is this is enough. What is enough? Listen, let me tell you. This is just the beginning. I'm not afraid of the police. If you like. Call him back! Tell him to call back Ions! How come you get him? How come you? We are not afraid of people like this. But let us go. Useless man! We are not afraid of the police, you woman. I just want to go no. give my mother food. Give her food, let her get rid. The police Nonsense. is coming. Don't no, they arrest you. Shame on you! Shame on you! Nonsense. Nonsense. Oh, Damn! Damn! Let's go. Nonsense. What a family. Look at mother and daughter, brood of vipers. Nonsense. You this man, I wonder. We get mad, huh? Or don't think mad. And now my daughter will have things instead me. You will die. Your mates are in the village. Your mates are in the village, yo. You this man. Nonsense. Oh, God, you 
for me, Lele. It will not work for you, Mama. Sorry. Please, the bastard. Sorry. Hey. Sorry. I told you. I told you that you can't take my love. What's your name? I can't take your love. I can't take your love. Sorry. No. Sorry. 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 Your evil father to hear around my mother for you. You have seen it. My father. <laughs> Do you want to worsen it? What, what happened? What really happened? You spin it. Don't please for me. I don't understand. My father called police for you. And they did this to you. Why? It's okay, you have me. It's okay, stop crying. Your wife. Sorry, Mama. Okay. Mm. Just give me one minute. Oh. Father! That! Dad! 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 So you had the girls to call police for my in-law and you allowed them to beat her up like a criminal? Dad, I'm talking to you. Why are you wicked? I told you that. 
should be seeing today. I'll send something to you next week. Wow. What will I do this week? Yes. Eh, what take you Come on. run the pipe through, create a hole here like a gutter and where the water can be passing through. So, get to work immediately. What is going on here? Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. I asked what is going on? Sorry. Listen, my friend. If I see any mark on this wall, I will get you arrested. Are you listening to this old man? Go with what you're doing. What, what, what are you trying to do? I don't want trouble. You don't want to have so my friend, come back here, come and do your job. Don't you want money? Am I not going to pay you? Look at this. Are you old? Have you seen what you've cost? Have you seen it? You're just wicked. You're nothing but a wicked old grey haired <laughs> man. That's what you are. Flat mm. <laughs> mm. mm. me. Mad dog. Gold digger. You come and break your father's wall. You go and break your father's Everything you do comes back to you. Let me call her number. It's ringing. She's not picking. I told her we were going out. I don't know. Let's be patient, sir. She'll soon be back. Yeah, what will work? Let me keep trying this. Maparagabia, Maparanabia, ni Mazu. Everything you do comes back to me. Maparanabia, ni Mazu. Ah, you're welcome. I made you fruit salad. 
Oh, okay. Yes, let's go inside. So this way, you mean you be inside all this while? Maybe you put some and then do it. No, nothing is wrong. I don't mind. Let's go. Contemplating that, sir. This woman came from nowhere and she will go back to nowhere. Sir, no. Please, sir. Please, sir. Sir, give me the knife, please, sir. Yeah, no, sir. Let me get this away, sir. What do I prepare for you, sir? Um, use the grill and then post on the table. Okay, sir. Good. Whose grill are you talking about? Listen, Anna. I don't want to see you anywhere close to my kitchen. And make sure you clean it before I return. Excuse me. Um, sir. Let me quickly see what I can put together, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I got you some fruits. Oh, Anna, thank you very much. It's nothing, sir. Let me quickly wash them and serve them. Uh, Anna, please sit down. <clears throat> you see, one day, this happiness that I share may turn sweeter or sour. I don't understand, sir. My son and his wife are up to something. But when the time comes, I want you to realize that I appreciate all your services to you. Sir, please, do not ask me to leave. I'm perfectly fine, sir. I like working for you. It is fine. I mean, I don't have any problems. And I have not said that. All I'm saying is that you should just get surprises. Just as I'm expecting them. Okay, sir. Let me quickly wash the fruits and serve it. Why would you bring this into my living room? 
What happened to the diner? You this man. Why do you always like messing everywhere up with filthy, filthy things? Elizabeth, I am sure you do not shout at your mother like this in that your ghetto. My mother does not mess things up like a pig. You're calling me a pig, eh? You obviously, you behave like one. Who said... Anna! Anna! Auntie, don't you call me auntie. I'm not your auntie. I've told you that before. Ma? Why did you serve him this in my living room? Hmm? Take it out. Are you still standing? Are you deaf? I said you should take this out of my living room. Is it timid? Leave my way. Anna! Anna, come here. Go back to your duties. Dad, I've been waiting for you to say something. I want to go to bed. I have forms to fill online. Please. For the second time in one week. Your wife has used my car without my consent. This morning, I was to go for medical checkup. She just brushed me aside and drove away in my car. Dad, we have lots of cars in this compound. You could as well go with one. Is it supposed to be a problem? What did you say? Yes. I mean, you always complain about this is not supposed. I mean, She's more like your daughter. I have uh, complained of your wife's attitude towards me uncountable times. But you have not been able to do anything about any one of them. Because for uncountable times, you've brought up unnecessary issues concerning her simply because you dislike her. And I really don't know why you dislike my wife. She's like your daughter. Why are you always complaining? Honestly, Dad, I'm, I'm tired. I, I need to go to bed. I'm waking up very early tomorrow. I'm just tired of... <laughs> time, my wife this, my wife that, she did this, she did that. I'm not tired of complaining. It's well. It's well. Yes, come in. Oh. Anna. Monta. Good morning. I came to find out what you'd like to have for breakfast, sir. Anna, I'm not hungry yet. Is my son still at home? Yes, sir. He's having breakfast. Okay, please go and tell him that I want to see him. Okay, hmm? sir. Is everything okay, sir? Uh, go and call him. I want him to take me to hospital. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, what is it? Sir, your father wants to see you. Are you blind? Go and tell him that he is eaten. I think he's ill, sir. He insists on seeing you. I said you should go and tell him that he's having his breakfast. How are you, darling? You need to work. His wife did not want him to come. Not exactly, sir. She says he is having breakfast. 
who aunt uh, Collins that I want him to take me to the hospital. Okay, sir. So your father is ill, he insists on seeing you so you can go to the doctor. Rubbish. Do you realize I'm older than you are? Do you realize that I am older than you? Sweetheart, are you watching her? Look at what she's talking to me. Do something. Anna, get out of my sight. I have served your father for years. He has never laid his hands on me. Your wife slaps me and you say nothing. I said, get out of my sight. If you look at me that way, I will pour you this hot cup of tea. Get out! Rubbish. Everything we do in this world. Sweetie, eat up. You'll be late for work. Eat, eat. Temperature is normal. Why are you making it look like a serious thing? Look, take me to the hospital. Dad, I can't go to the hospital now. I'm, I'm late for work already. I will call Dr. Philip to come treat you here since your doctor is not in town. Call him now. I will. I'll, I'll call him. I'll call him. I'll call him later. Alright, let me rush out, huh? Anna! Doctor, why am I not getting better? Chief, you'll be fine, sir. But you've been saying this for the past uh, three days now. Chief, it's a gradual process. You'll be fine. Just take the medication, do I instructed you, sir? I'll come back in the evening and see you. Glory, right, sir. Yes. Thank you. See you in the evening, sir. Collins, if I were you, I'll take him to old people's home. You think that would be the best? Of course. Mm. I'm not sure we have such thing in this town. Nay, nay. We have a lot of them in this town. We have St. Bartholomew's Old People's Home. We have St. Paul's Old People's Home. And we have St. Barnabas Old People's Home. All in this town. Hmm. Okay. Um, that really sounds interesting. I never knew we have such thing in this town. Okay. I'll take him there. I will take him there. At least he will give us rest of mind and from there he will find his way to the village. Well, I hope you do as you just said. Because if you do, Collins bets me. Your home will become sweet and your marriage will be good again for your beautiful wife. Think about it. That's all. Collins, take me to the hospital. I don't think this uh, doctor knows what he's doing. Dad, why have you chosen to be a thorn on my flesh? Eh? 
When will you appreciate the fact that I and my wife are really taking care of you? Take me to a good hospital. That's all I ask for, Carlos. Okay. Since you've decided to be ungrateful, I will take you to a place where you'll be grateful. They will also take care of you there and you appreciate it more since we are not taking care of you. What do you want to tell me? No, nothing, sir. Anna, have you started lying? No, Chief. Now tell me, what do you want to tell me? Sir. Sir. I overheard your son and his wife saying they were going to take you to the old people's home, St. Bartholomew's precisely. I saw it coming. But I'm not bothered about it. I just want to be healthy again. That's what you want to do? Sweetie, bring the bag. We don't have all day. Open the boots. Hurry up, now. We open the boots. useful to yourself. That's so nice. Father, can I sit down first? Oh, sure. Thank you. Sit down. Thank you. Uh. Is this not Collins? Just him. You were right when you said he's going to be a great man. But I'm not here to take much of your time. <clears throat> you see, I brought my father here, so... The nurses and the sisters can take very good care of him since he has become a nuisance to me and my wife. What? Where do I keep his bag? 
She fit now. What is going on? Father, with all due respect, tell us where to keep his bag. We don't have all day. Collins, can you tell me what is going on? Father CJ, the dog was took his owner to the exact spot where he parted it. So do I pay in check or in cash? Whichever way you want it, I'm ready. Time flies. Well, Father, I have never seen time fly so fast in the wrong direction. I just asked if I should pay in check or in cash. What's funny? Whatever. You can pay in check. You can pay in cash. <laughs> <laughs> Father, can I have a word with you for a minute, please? Yes. With me? Yes. Oh, shut up, shut up. Father, can I have a word with you for a minute, please? I'm sorry to ask. Do you know my father before now? Chief Edmund? <laughs> Who doesn't know Chief Edmund? Kind man? He single handedly did. Our second orphanage, 10 years ago. Oh. She's a kind man. I thought as much because the way you both are, uh, you know, laughing. I knew you must be friends for a long time. He became my friend forever. When he took a bold step to save his soul. Take a look at this picture. Do you know this part? Of course, this is me. Good. This boy was abandoned by his mother. He was diagnosed with lung infection. Nobody came for his adoption. She Ferdinand came, picked him up, and promised me he was going to make him a multimillionaire before he turned thirty. So tell me, is he not a good man? I called you aside because I want you to be witness to what I am going to tell you now. Um, two of my companies now belong to this company. My house belongs to Anna. That is my will, and that is the way I want it to be. Dad, please, please, Father, please, help me talk to my father. Good day, son. Father, I think we should. Anna. Father. Father. Anna, Anna. Father. Father. Everything we do in this world Oh, 
This car. This place is not got the garage now. Move up. Open the door for them. Yes, sir. Ma. John. Ma. Everybody go back to your duty. As normal. This world, everything 
you tell me that you will adopt her? Eh? Muna my mother with a denge, no pose. Denge na yangu dogo sikia bino. We didn't know you were an adopted son of Chief Ferdinand. Hey! Will you get out of my back now? I'm, I'm thinking. I will kill you. I will kill you. Get out to where? Where do you want me to go to? Where do you want me to go to? God punish you there. God will punish you. Go to hell for all I care. I, 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 are you not the cause of all this? Hey, 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 don't shout at me. Don't you ever shout at me, you bastard. Don't shout at me again, no. Look at the bastard shouting at the legitimate daughter like me. Don't shout at me again. Idiot. What? Did you just call me now? Are you not a bastard? Oh God, with big letter B. Bastard! That's what you are. What's the matter? Talk to me. Collins, talk to me. We, we've gone to the old people's home. Okay. And the Reverend Father told me, Lo and behold, that I was adopted. I was adopted. <sighs> Collins. I don't understand. What are you talking about? I was abandoned at the gates of the orphanage home. Everyone rejected me. I was sick until my father came for my rescue. After a few weeks, I am not his real son. How could that man hide a thing like this from you and remain controlled all along? Calm down. Stop telling me to calm down. Stop telling me to calm down. We're not the one giving me bad advice. Do this to your father. Do this to your father. Well, what advice do you want to give me now? Have you not ruined me? I am ruined. I have nowhere to go. Collins. Collins, if you listen to me. When you get home, pretend to see you're not bothered. Which home? Which home? He wheeled the home to the cook. I am the cook. 
have the home now. I have no home. Which home am I going back to? <laughs> hey, Collins, Collins, Collins. Can you listen to me? Are you mad? No, I'm not. I know, I know you are heated up. Listen to me. You see, as long as you were officially adopted by that man, you remain his son. Please calm down. I'm so stupid. How? 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 Collins, you're not doing yourself any good. Calm down. Calm down. Please calm down. Collins, let me be don't, 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 don't even touch me. Everything you do comes back to you. Comes back to you. village After that Anglican church. Follow you. I don't know. I don't know you are coming for me. I did say you are one, but oh my god, I don't know you before, so I cannot follow you. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. I could have been frustrated if you didn't accept to help me. You're welcome. So what is your name? My name is Elizabeth. But, but believe I'm Lizzie. <laughs> In other words, you can call me Lizzie. Yes. 
Very good. So do you mind if I have your mobile number? I lost my phone on my way back from service last week. Hold up a sec. You're a graduate? Yes, of course. <laughs> And what is a graduate doing in this village? Are you not supposed to be in the city? Well, I am waiting for God's time. Oh, come on, Lizzie, this is not a place to wait for God's time. I mean, you should be in the city looking for a job, don't you think? Yeah, but I don't have anybody in the city. Uh, but then this is not the place to, to be. I mean, you have to leave your comfort zone. I wish I can. How about your parents? Just my mother. I live with my mother. Just with both of us. Oh. So do you mind if I see your mother? <laughs> see my mother? What mm -hmm. for? Why? I mean, just to see your mother. I mean, see your mother. Is anything wrong with that? Okay, all right. Let's go. My house is just around the corner. Okay, here we go. Let's go see Lisa's mother. At least to commend her and also ask her why you're still in this village. Very fine, and you? I'm fine. Who is our visitor? Mama, he's a friend. A friend from the university. Well, you asked plenty of questions. Yes, we'll find this. Oh, well, 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 well. Hey. So, my how is life with you? I'm fine, bro. I'm fine. No. So, My son, what do we offer you? Oh. I have some oranges. Oh, come on, Mama, don't stress yourself. I actually stopped by to see you shortly. Oh. Okay, maybe next time. It's okay. Hey, no. Thank you. Hey. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, God, I got to watch out. Oh, my friend, I just brought him in. Just like that. <laughs> Welcome, Wood. Hey. Oh, dear. Uh -huh. I hope all is well. Yes, all is well. Don't mind my mother. Okay, Mama, let me run along. Like I said, I will come back next time to see. But for the meantime, just have this. Use it to buy anything. For now. Okay. Ma. Hold this. Oh, come on, Mama. For me. For us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. God bless you. Oh, you God welcome. bless you. Bless you too. Bless you too. Mm -hmm. Alright, Mama, let me run along, eh? Mm -hmm. Remember what I told you. Okay. That's it, you So, Thank you. <laughs> I'm the one that brought him home. I know, I know, but I'm your mother. Who is he? I'm a 
at least I will cook a special soup for you. What will you go now go since you buy it? Cod, those big ones. That's I will, I will. When I go here, you go now. If you go see Ata, Ota, you go, you go next time. Ota. You're welcome. I'm fine, How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Welcome, Thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> Let me get this. Oh, no, don't worry. I actually got you this so I can always reach you whenever I want to come. Mama, look at phone. Not just phone, but big phone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Mama, look at it. Big phone or Android, though. Thank you, my <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you see, I have thought about what a graduate like you will be doing in this village. And honestly, it is not captivating to me. So I have secured a job for you in the city. Yes. And secondly, I secured a land where I would build for you and your mother. Hey! Hey! Mama, hey, come. You see, come on. Hey! Hey, come Thank on. Hey. Thank, Thank you. Me. God bless no. you. Happy I go to Hey, don't worry. Mama, land, job, in the city. <laughs> My son, God will bless you. Bless you too, Mama. Hey! Bless you too. Come on, God sent. Thank you. I don't know how to start thanking you. I'm short of words. God bless you. Don't worry. God bless you and bless you again. Amen. Bless us all. Thank bless you. us all. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Mama, I have to run along. I have a lot to catch up in the office. It's okay. So I'll come next time, anytime I can. God bless you. Honestly, I don't know how best to thank you. It's okay. <laughs> God bless us all. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So get ready on Sunday. I'm coming to pick you up. Okay. Hmm? Call you. Be good. Oh, bye. Bye. Oh. God bless you. Bless you too. Uh -huh. Bless you. Bless you. Bye bye. Oh, bye. why you? Why you? Why you? Oh. Okay. Okay. Cause <laughs> Okay. I will sit in the comfort. But then my office like this. Ned, bring me files. Bring that. Bring this. Bring that. Bring this. Bring this. So what did you say you wanted to tell me? I was hoping we could go somewhere more private, a quiet place. Okay, but uh, yeah, it's private, don't you think? We're here alone. Anyway, I just wanted to 
tell you I appreciate you for everything you have done for me and my mother. <laughs> Words cannot express how I feel. Oh, thank you. God bless you. You are just God sent. Hey, come on. You don't have to be raining appreciation on me all the time. What I'm doing, I'm doing it for God. You deserve huh? it. Thank you, anyway. So, I told my father about you. About me? Yeah. <laughs> what about me? I told him I've seen a girl I... I want to marry. Huh? Yeah. Are you serious? Uh, listen, Collins. I'm a nobody. I'm a daughter of a nobody. That I know? Do you think your father will accept me for his only son? Come on, Lizzie. That is my choice. That is what I want. It's your want. I don't care where you come from. I don't care if you're the daughter of the president. It is my choice. All right? So, do not look down on yourself. Okay? Will you marry me? That's a big yes. I'll marry you. <laughs> Waiting for my ring. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You've made me the happiest woman on earth. Wow. And you made me the happiest man on earth. So, got you. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. You have not started crying. Okay, baby. Shh. 
Shame on you! Woo -woo -woo -woo! Shame, shame, shame on you! Yellow bastard! You are already going back to your poverty stricken home. Go back. At least I have a home. Collins, I have a home! What about you? You're just a bastard. Yellow bastard, that's what you are. Where is your home? It's your Everything bastard. you do comes back to you. My father, on a bien basse. than him. You never can tell. Oh? Hmm. I was left in the orphanage by your known woman dumb skull. By your known woman! By your known woman dumb skull! Why can't you let me be? Haven't you done enough? Don't hold me. Haven't you done enough? Don't hold me. I'm not the one that dumped you. I'm not your known woman. Collins, listen to me. Collins, you need to do something. Do something. Your real father might be richer than him. You can't go back to poverty. The only thing I have to do is to send you back to your miserable mother. To send you back to your miserable mother. Let me be, Elizabeth. Let me like me. Let me like me. Is it hard to say? Never like me! You must be the new gate man. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Where is my daughter? Your daughter. Your madam. Oh, <laughs> me, I don't know. Uh, yes, yes, I don't know anything about that. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Go, take this bag inside. Madam, my own here. Not too close. And walk it. That's all. I don't think I need anybody bad. Are you stupid? If my daughter hears what you just did now, she will fire you. Fire. In short, you are fired! Fire me. Hey. Fire me. Hey. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Alarm, yeah. So you're still here? Eh? Shameless man. Balance your nappy for now, juice. not know that I have a better place to stay. <laughs> Listen, I will tell your husband to collect that project from him and give it to another person. Oh, mama, mama, mama. Please, my head is spinning. Enough of this, your contractor talk. Minister, you are here. Welcome. Thank you, Chief. Where is Collins and Anne? Um, Anne. Anna. Collins, oh, call Collins there. Hey, can someone tell me what is going on? Has this evil man called the police or some cops for your involvement? Oh, Collins. Good that you're here. That is your pit notice. You're expected to leave this house in less than three hours. I 
Given a second chance. In my next world, you will be my father. You are the man I've known all my life. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hi, right, Collins. What up? Now, I don't have anywhere to go to, so I was wondering if I could stay here for some time, at least to figure out what to do with my life. Collins, you should have told me on time. You don't just wake up and come and stay in my house. I don't understand, Jerry. It's me, oh. Collins, your friend. Collins, I know. Collins, I know it's you. But you see, my wife and her sister came in last night. And as I talked to you, we're expecting my mother-in-law tomorrow. Come on. With all these, how can I accommodate you? Jerry, I am stranded. I don't have anywhere to go to. I don't even have money on me. You and I know you have plenty rooms in this house. Why can't you just allow me to stay in one till I figure out what to do? Are you actually saying this to me? Collins, you're making me look like a bad person. Come on. My hands are tied. It's not as if I don't want to help. I was busy inside, Collins. Ah, I'm Jerry. Can I, can I have some money from you? My account is frozen. I don't, I don't have any money on me. Collins, I just told you my mother-in-law is around. That means extra expenses. I, I wish I had something I could, I could, I could offer you. I don't have anything now. Okay, fine. Can you buy my car? I, I don't mind to sell it. Okay. A car? Yes. Just well, I just hope you're not going to put too much money on that car. However, bring it tomorrow. And I'll see what I can do for you. Just hold the key. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Keep the key. When you're coming tomorrow, you come with it. Okay? You have to excuse me. On my forehead, Kaya. Eh? Please, I was ignorant. My daughter is but a child. What do you want from me? What do you want here? My in law. Shut up, woman. I am not your in law. So go straight to the point or you get out of my house now. Please, okay, please calm down. I want you to help me bang your brother. I knew it. I knew that Collins was never our friend. Our ancestors mm, said no. They were never happy that we had to take that. That. Get out of my house. Please. But you can still beg your Get brother out to... of my house now before before I do something stupid to you. Get out of my house before. Yeah. I said we can get out of my house. Come down, please. Come down. This world, everything Lost. has its reward. Let me Everything you do comes back to you. 
Good morning, sir. I'm not saying you did me like this. <laughs> My, I'm going to your house. My house. I hope all is well. All is well, my husband. I I just want to talk with you. As you can see, I'm going for a meeting. I know. But honestly, I need to talk with you. Biko. Am I saying anything? My husband. Yeah. I I come to I actually come to beg you. Beg me what? I actually came to beg you to help me talk to our in-laws concerning Elizabeth. Which in-law are you talking about? Our in-law, Elizabeth's husband. Mama Eliza, is this why you stopped me from going to a meeting? Huh? Ah? No. I'm from this area. Biko, please. I need you to help me. My husband. My husband. Biko. My husband. Just hold on, please. Mama Eliza, leave me alone. Stop following me. Let me ask you, when they came to marry Eliza, did you inform me? When I finally found out, what did I tell you? Oh yeah, Nia. Mama Eliza, are you inside? Are you there? Uncle. Oh, one. Uncle, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine, Uncle. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, where is your mother? She went to get some. Oh. Let me get a seat for you. I'm going to go to church. Ah, she's here. Oh, Mama, <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. Mama Eliza, you're back. Yeah. Oh? This one you are here, this end. Hope all is well. Yeah. I heard that somebody is coming to ask for your daughter's hands in marriage. Yes. And you didn't bother to tell us. Her father's brothers. Huh? If I tell you, what will you do? Hmm? You will buy the drinks, or the rice, or the meat. But the normal thing is for you to tell us. You can't do it alone. Mm. And then me, me. Hey, Indulu. Huh? If you don't know what to say. Ola! Mwa! Ola! In my brother's house. Uh -uh. In my house. Let me tell you. It is very, very important for you to ask questions about the people that want to come and marry your daughter. What question do you want me to ask? I understand. You want to be as wretched as the people that came to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage? Yeah! Chairman Wani. Let me shock you. This is extremely rich. You're going to have work. You're going to have it has not got into an insult. What I'm trying to do is what I'm supposed to do as the only surviving brother of a late husband. And the answer I just gave to you now is the only thing I'm supposed to tell you as the only surviving wife of your brother. Ah. Una. Mua ola. No problem. Let's see. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. Let us see. Don't worry. Ask for me. Hey! I don't worry. Bad woman. Tom, 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 
Be me roger this early morning. Can you recall it? And now you want me to go and talk to people whom I don't know. I can't do that. I will not do that. I don't want it. My husband. Hey, don't husband me. I husband the person. It's the Pakli and all work. Hey, one job. Turn to my housekeeper. Can you can My husband. Please forgive me, Biko. Help me. Why alone, Biko? Get up. Get up. I will not get up until you forgive me. Oh, Biko. Biko. Okay, I'm forgiving you. Oh. Thank you, my husband. I will talk to you. Hey. Thank you, my husband. You can go home. Oh. I will talk to you. Thank you, my husband. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Idiot. Mm -hmm. Forgive me. Um, Mama Eliza. Mm -hmm. I've been able to talk to you. But you told me that the young man is a bastard. Are you not aware of it? I I am now stop the hold on. Who do you want me to go and talk to? Is it the bastard or the man who disowned him? Just tell me. Go on. My husband. What will people say about my daughter and I? <sighs> How could we be this stupid to have lost this blessing? Mama, stop it! Stop this! Stop it! Shut up! You are full son! You do son! If you had played your card well, this wouldn't have happened. Mama, it won't have won me for us. Are you not the one that put me into this mess? Eh? You see, Who put you into this mess? It was your stupidity and stubbornness that caused all this. Mama, you raised me to be stubborn. Mm, you are stubborn, I am stubborn. We are stubborn people. Eliza, you are not just stupid, but useless. It will keep. Eh? I'm mm, useless. Mama, if I'm useless, then you are stupid. In fact, you're a stupid mother. Eh? Mm. In a, in a... What, what is it? Eliza, you called me a stupid mother. Eliza, you will die untimely. Devil will punish you. It will start from you. That devil will start from you. Devil will punish you first. My devil, my all his angels will punish you first, Mama. You're a bad mother, wicked mother. You, you kaku, you will lose to cable. You to instead of you to use your number six, you know net elliptic, night pencil. Was it not the number five you told me to use that landed us in this mess? Obria, if I had used number six by now, I am a prison. Eliza, I'm looking at a challenge. Oh, pull out that calipano nyeko le. Eliza. I know what to do. Okay, Mama. You take Mama. When I hear Pilio, I'm giving you respect. I hear Pilio. When I hear Pilio, Mama. Eliza, what kind of Mama? I don't know. You touch me, Mama. Eliza, Mama. You touch me, Mama. You touch me, Mama. Mama. I hear Pilio. I hear Pilio. Mama. Mama. Elibia. I'm giving you respect, oh. Elibia. I couldn't hear you. Yanso. 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 Mama. Yanso. Mama. I said to myself, oh. I said to myself, oh. Mama. I don't know, oh. Mama. I'm going to give you the form, the lioness. Mama, I'm also the lion. Mama, Mama, I have not even touched you. 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 I have not even tou
Me use the my elbow and do if I if I give you one blow, is it in Agasa and Reba? Hey! Look at you. Abomination. I know a man of Bodo. Eliza, I will not stand up from here unless you offer me cow. Eh? Officer yes. Cow, I'll go and buy 10 trailers of cow. If you don't want to, if you don't want to stand up, Dina Leba will never marry your bed. Look at you. Eliza, Dead woman. your generation will suffer. You are suffering Eliza. already. <laughs> you are suffering already, Mama. Wicked woman. Instead of teaching me how to respect my husband and my father in law, behave like a good wife. You know, I'm never fucking it. Do this one. God will destroy you. He has Eliza. destroyed you. you will. God has destroyed you. God has destroyed you. Hi. God has destroyed you, Mama. Oh. Eh? What is the meaning of this? Mama, meaning of what? You entered my kitchen. Obviously, Mama, I went to collect some food. <laughs> Come on! Drop it! Nick, what can you Obviously, Mama, I went to collect some food. Which food? My food. Let me ask you. Did you come back to this house with a grain of rice? Or even a dime? Mbano! You had the guts to enter my kitchen. In our, in our, in our one ukulele. Eh, 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 Where are you going to? I want to wash my clothes. With my bucket. In Awana. I don't understand you. You want to wash with my bucket. Eh. Yeah. With which, which bucket are we talking about? My own bucket. Take your time. This is my bucket. Oh? You came back empty. Means you're an empty vessel. I don't know you, you are not my blood, you can never on earth mba, be my blood, never. Let me pass. Uncle, uncle, please. Hi. I know I've messed up with that. I don't care. I don't care whether you messed up, you messed down, you messed right, left, round about, everywhere. That is your cup of tea. Look, don't, don't, don't come here, uncle again. Don't come here, uncle. I can't go. Please help me talk to my father. Ooh, the moment you open your mouth and call my brother, my brother, your father, he gets me mad. Look, listen, don't ever open your mouth and call him your, 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 your father again. Get out of my way. Get out. Don't, don't, don't come near me. Don't come near me. Yes, everybody wants me, bro. Everything has its yeah. reward. Oh, my, 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 Everything you do comes back to you. Makwara on a biani bazu. What are you 
doing here? You understand? What are you doing here? What are you doing, my uncle? What are you doing here? Uncle. Uncle, please. 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 I feel so ashamed of myself. I don't care. I feel like I'm committing suicide. Please. Please. Help me talk to my father. I don't mind to be. I don't mind to be a good man. Or to be a cook. Or just to make up for the love he has shown me. Please. Point of correction, young man. Ferdinand, my brother. It's not your father. Number one. Number two. If you want to commit suicide, you can go and kill yourself anywhere you like. Not in my compound. Listen to me. You're not my blood. I don't know you. I can never be your uncle. For you're a bastard. We pick you up from nowhere. You come and you behave as if we told you to somebody. And you, you treat, you treat your benefactor anyhow you like because of a woman a woman because of a woman okay don't come on don't come on this is the only family I know this is the only family I know to fear this is not your family go to your family outside there not here you don't belong to us we don't know you you are not our blood Get out of my compound. I will die. I will die. I will die. What am I doing for? In my compound. You don't want to hear. You don't want to leave. Oh, the man. Okay. I will be away. Don't die. Okay. I have fed you. I am coming. 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 Come on. Come on. Get out of the house. What is it? What is it? Nonsense. Get out. Get out. Nonsense. Bastard. Look at you. Come back and see you. What is this? You sent for me. Yes. Anna. I have this. that you're giving me employment to your company. Look, Anna, I am making you the managing director of my bottling company. Congratulations. Sir? Sir? <coughs> yes. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, sir you have done more than enough for me already. <laughs> this is too much, sir. Look, Anna, you deserve even more. In fact, there's a, a car attached to your office. Sir? Anna. Sir? Anna, please get up. No, sir. I, sir, ah. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, sir. Look, Anna, just get up. You know you are a wonderful person. 
You deserve more than this. Just Thank take you so place. much, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm so shaking, sir. Start up. <laughs> no, don't shake. Oh, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Get up, please. Oh, no, sir. Let me thank you very well, sir. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much, sir. Oh, okay, I have the job now. You have, yes. And the car. Yes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, sir. <laughs> 